Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the scanning features of the Scan & Cut machine. I've printed out a design and I've loaded it onto my scanning mat and I'm going to load it into the machine. I'm going to choose Scan to Cut Data. Once that's scanned, I'm going to wait for it to um, recognise my design and then I'll show you what appears on the screen. OK, so this is what the screen has now recognised. Um, if this was a solid shape and we just wanted an outline, we'd choose the top icon. But because it's a kind of a swirl and it's got some inside areas, some landlocked areas, we want to choose this icon. And you can see it's picked everything up. If um, the scan hadn't picked everything up, you've got a couple of options. You can click this icon at the bottom. You can click on this one, which um, alters the gradient of the background to the design. So if your background wasn't crisp white against, say, a black print, you could um, alter this down or up to, to affect uh, the scan there. Or if you click this item that says delete size, the machine by default is set to 5 milli, which means it won't recognise anything less than 5 millimetres. So, um, or if your machine is set in inches, it will be the equivalent here of whatever 5 milli is. Um, so what you can do, um, you can um, click on this and take it down to 1 milli, which is its minimum, and it will then start to pick up on your design anything that's 1 milli or above. So sometimes that can help with your scans if your scans are not always necessarily picking up um, a crisp design for you. Once you're happy with what you got, uh, you've got, just say OK. And then um, we're going to save this in a minute. So if we just save this as it is, um, even though we've only got a small design here, we're saving one complete mat, which is a waste of space really. So we're going to drag the handles in and reduce the save area. Because although you can save to USB, you can actually save to the machine. And I think it saves the equivalent of 60 full mats worth. So by bringing the drag handles in, you're just giving yourself more memory in your machine. And then we're going to say save and it will say processing and it will save that. It's going to ask us where we want to save it. I'm going to save it to the machine for now. And it's given it a number, number six. So now we can go back to the home button doesn't matter about losing that because we've saved it. I'm going to go to pattern, save data to the machine, number six. Now before, I'm, I'm going to say okay, before we do anything with this now, this is all in tiny little bits. If you see everywhere I'm clicking that's red is a section of that design. So to enable us to be able to resize it or move it as one shape, we have to group it or unify it. And to do that, we go to this icon at the top. Then we select this icon that's got the three red boxes and we click this icon here that's selected every single section of that design now. And we're going to say OK and we're going to hit this button here which says OK to unify patterns irreversible. And that's OK because we've already saved it to the machine as our 006 pattern which is all in the individual little bits. So by doing this you're not affecting the first um, pattern that we saved of this design so we'll say okay this is now one object so from here now we can duplicate it or resize it and um, flip it rotate it and by and to do that you click on this icon here we can make it bigger if we want to and because this aspect ratio icon is locked whenever I click this one this one's going up as well we could say we want two of them, say OK, and we'll end up with two um, on our mat. Um, if we go back and we wanted to flip one, we could say, right, I'll flip that one 90 degrees, say OK. When you go back, you can see that we've got one this way and one this way. 
So I hope that's helpful. Um, please leave me any comments below. Um, please like, share and subscribe if you do find this helpful and if you'd like to see more videos. Thanks for now.